Good day, my name is Zola Gashalwana. You're watching News and Five on Galaxy TV. And these are your headlines for today. Uber South Africa offers financial assistance to COVID-19 impacted drivers and delivery staff. Three-month-old kidnapped baby gets reunited with their family after three days of horror. Department of Justice disapproves parole for Chris Hani's killer. And Idris Alba tests positive for deadly coronavirus. And we bring you sports as a wrap-up. Uber South Africa announced that in light of recent events concerning the spread of the novel coronavirus that it will be providing financial compensation to its drivers and delivery staff who are asked to self-isolate by public health authorities or have been exposed and diagnosed rather with the virus. In a brief statement, the taxi hailing service said that it will be helping those who qualify for financial assistance for up to 14 days on condition that they would have taken at least one trip on the Uber platform in the next, uh, in the 30 days before March 6. Uber also said that they will be temporarily shutting all its green light hubs across the country to encourage social distancing. Moving on to the next story of the day, a three-month-old baby who was reported missing last week after being kidnapped at the Mamelodi Clinic was found alive on Monday, put the police revealed. According to police spokesperson Captain Mavela Masondo, the infant was found by a couple after he was dumped next to Pretoria University's Mamelodi campus. The couple then took the baby boy to the police station where he was positively identified by the parents before being taken to a medical practitioner for examination and reunited healthy and unharmed. Masonda said that a case of kidnapping was opened and that police are still searching for the suspect who disappeared with the baby. And moving on to the next story of the day, the Department of Justice announced on Monday that Januz Wallace uh, who was sentenced to death for assassination of Martin Tembesile, Chris Honey, in 1993 outside his home in Don Park, was denied parole. In a statement released by Department, Minister Ronald Lamola explained that previous court judgments relating to the case had been proven that the courts had taken factual information when the sentencing, uh, sentencing rather, Wallace to death. Lamola maintained that the crime committed by Wallace was cold-blooded, showed intent and had the potential to bring about a civil war within South Africa at that time. And in international news, British actor Idris Elba revealed that he had tested positive for the novel coronavirus, but he was feeling okay nonetheless. In a short clip posted on Twitter alongside his wife, Sabrina Dora, uh, the Luther star said that although he tested positive, he was not feeling any of the symptoms and has been in isolation since he found out about possibly having contracted the virus. Albert becomes the second Hollywood star to have tested positive for the virus after Oscar winner Tim Hanks and wife Rita Wilson tested positive last week. And in our sports news for the day in the Premier Soccer League, the Premier Soccer League chairperson Dr. Ivan Koza announced on Monday that the PSL's Extraordinary Executive Committee resolved to suspend all football fixtures this week until further notice. Speaking at an urgent press conference at the PSL's headquarters in Parktown, Koza revealed that the challenge of curbing the spread of the deadly outbreak has forced the immediate suspension of all matches for this week. On Sunday, after President Sir Ramaphosa declared a national emergency, which includes the banning of all, of all gatherings of more than 100 or more people, the South African Football Association, Cricket South Africa, Athletic South Africa, Boxing South Africa, Netball South Africa, Sunshine Tour and Super Rugby all suspended the activities to contain the pandemic. For these and more, check out our website and all our social media platforms. My name is Zola Gashalwana. This is News in 5. Thank you for watching.